One of the um, criticisms I think I would make very strongly of a lot of the moves to change the learning environments in schools is that they haven't been thoughtful. What they've tended to do is just say, well, we don't want one teacher, 25 kids in a classroom. And so what they do is they just chuck it all out and they don't sort of think about, well, if I'm actually wanting kids to collaborate and work together on a project, what would they actually need to do that? And would that be, um, could you do it without tables? Probably not. You may want to build things, you may want to actually get wet area to do stuff, um, you want to work together in a team, then we need a collaborative sort of environment for that. But if I want someone to sit down and quietly make sure that they're able to consolidate their own thinking through some maths, for example, then they don't need a quiet space for that. They need a place where they can go off on their own or maybe with one other person and sit down and carefully think that through. So I think the danger is we do either or. And we do modern learning environment as if it's one thing. Whereas really what we're finding in the research work that's done around this is that we need to design spaces very deliberately for different learning activities. So if you look around this space, you'll see that students there at the back are sitting in a collaborative way. They're actually working quite individually at the moment because they have to be quiet because we're talking. But um, basically they're set up for to collaborate. Whereas I look at another space over there, there's just one chair and a, and a table that's set up for an individual to work. So it's actually setting it up for the types of learning activities that you really want students to do. And in making sure that the way you've set it up is actually helping that activity. It's very deliberate and purposeful. So not an open barn at all. I mean, yes, some open space for collaboration or for big movements, but certainly not just simply an open barn. That's a disaster.